In this video, we are going to look at the Cilium Gateway API and how you can use it for cross namespace routing. It's a feature that is available on the Kubernetes Gateway API and is also available on the Cilium implementation of the Gateway API. And it supports um, the ability to have a shared Gateway API across multiple namespaces which could be interesting uh, if you want to centralize the control of your gateway API across multiple namespaces. If we look on the gateway API website, you will see an example whereby there is um, a gateway API which is shared across multiple namespaces. Right? One is for a site namespace, one is for the store namespaces. And um, gateway API is shared between the two and all the certificate management is done through this uh, shared gateway. Now that's um, uh, interesting as well because uh, if you deploy multiple gateways in the cloud, right, you will get multiple you know, public IP address and multiple cloud load balancers which will add to your overall cost. So. Uh, there is an appeal as well to use the shared gateway in that context. Now, many customers would rather have a dedicated gateway per namespace or per application, but at least now you've got the options, right, of, of, of um, easier going for a shared model or a dedicated model. What you also want to make sure is that some namespaces are allowed or not allowed to uh, be attached to a specific gateway, right? And for this, we're going to be using the root attachment. So again, this uh, uh, again this, uh, this this section explains it. Right? You, you the gateway and root attachment is bi-directional. Right? So in the gateway, you could say uh, I allow attachment from only the same namespace or any namespace or namespaces with a specific label and your root must be attached to your gateway explicitly uh, through the use of the parent ref field. Now, again, we're going to look at this in the demo, but it's important to kind of explain some of the ideas here, right? Which, um, which is around having uh, either dedicated gateway or shared gateway. The other example we're going to look at in this uh, particular demo is by using Again, a shared gateway API across a couple of namespaces. So let's think about this scenario. So in, you know, consider a fictional Acme company with three different business units within Acme, and each of them has its own environment, an application, and namespace. Right? You've got a, a recruiting team with a careers application where applications can submit their CV. You've got a product team as a public facing um, you know, website where they can, um, when, where people can fill out information about the product. And then you've got the uh, human resources team that uh, has an application where they store private employee details and that should remain private. So, because careers and, and product are both public facing application, the security team has decided they are allowed to connect to this gateway API, which uh, can uh, then be exposed to the outside world. It can receive an external IP. That external IP can be advertised uh, using PGP, for example. So the careers app and um, the product app will be able to connect to the gateway API. Gateway API. Um, looks for a specific um, namespace label and both of these namespaces have the, the, the right label because they are again allowed to be attached by the gateway API. Unlike this HR namespace, which is more supposed to be private, so this application is not supposed to be exposed to the outside of, of the cluster, and therefore, when we try to attach the HTTP route to this gateway API, you will see uh, it will fail. 
So let's go and have a look in the demo. So first let's have a quick look at the namespaces that we've got here. Uh, you will see we've got uh, our tenant namespaces, all different business units, you get the careers, the HR, you get the infra, and get a product. And then you've got some additional kind of more like management namespaces. But notice that the careers and the product have this shared dash getaway dash access equals true label. That's going to be important later. Now let's have a look at our getaway configuration. Um, we're going to deploy the, a shared getaway in the infra-ns namespace. And that's a Cilium gateway, it's listing on port 80. And this is a new uh, field that uh, you may not have come across. As you can see, we've got a, a, a namespace selector and we see that labels here, right? And that's what we've just seen before. So what this means is the gateway would only allow HTTP rules to be connected if the namespace that they are um, part of uh, has a specific label, okay? And we know that the product and career um, namespaces have that specific label. We also have in our manifest three HTTP routes, HR1, Right. If you do, if you go to slash HR, will take you to the eco HR service, which is in the uh, HR namespace. If you go to slash product, will take you to the eco product in the slash in the product namespace, and the same for the careers. Let's have a quick look at the backend service. Uh, we've got the echo dash careers in the careers namespace, echo dash HR in the HR namespace, and echo dash product in the product namespace. Now let's apply manifests. Here we go. So now we've got our three routes. Let's now verify that connectivity works or doesn't work as we expect. Let's get the get, uh, gateway IP. 172.18.255.201. Let's just let's just store it in here. This environment variable. And now we can run some curl request. So a curl to product is successful, right? So we can access via the shared gateway. Um, the, the product service in the product namespace. If we go to careers, again, that's successful. And finally, if we go to HR, we get a 404. And that's, again, exactly as we expect, the routes HTTP uh, to, to, to careers have been uh, attached to the gateway API. The one to careers, the one to product, but the one to um, the HR namespace has have not been allowed. We can use um, right command. Now, it gives us some information about um, uh, whether the routes have been accepted or not. But let's use this command that will look at the actual status uh, of each gateway. So we can really sh have a, uh, a look at exactly what we need. We can see that the product HTTP route has been accepted. The careers HTTP route has been accepted. But the HR HTTP route is invalid and has not been accepted because it's not allowed. Again, if we look at the uh, namespaces, the HR namespace, namespace has not got the right um, label and therefore 
rules can't be attached. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, it's helped you understand the cross namespace uh, gateway API feature and how it works with Cilium. Uh, I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.